my name is Taylor and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go over three mistakes that I made as a new teacher and I'm going to give you some tips to help you out in your first year. Don't buy everything. You don't need it. I walked in my first year and I wanted to deck my classroom out. Do not put that much pressure on your theme. Do not be buying a bunch of things that you think you need, especially when it's just decorations, okay? Because let's be real, you don't make enough money to be spending on everything in your classroom. And yard sales, yard sale it up. It's you that makes them excited to come to class today and it's you that gets them excited about the room and makes it feel like home. So one, don't buy everything. Don't try and do it all. Break it down piece by piece. You're not going to master everything at one time, okay? It's just not going to happen. Rome wasn't built in a day, right? I think that's what they say. As a first year teacher, let me pull the rug out from underneath you right now and let you know what you learned in school does not prepare you for an actual classroom. So don't jump in thinking you can master it all at once because it's impossible. My first year, I focused on phonics because to me, reading was the most important thing that my kids could learn that year. So I put all of my extra time and focus into finding different teaching strategies for phonics, finding different exercises and games that we could use to practice our phonics. Next year, I think I'm gonna go out of the ELA and pick a focus in math. That is how you have to do it because if you try and tackle everything because you just wanna be the best, it's not gonna work. You're just gonna have burnt out, overwhelmed, crying in your bathtub, eating a pint of ice cream. Not speaking from experience. So yeah, rule number two, don't take on everything. Focus on one thing at a time give things time that means give your rules time give your procedures time give seating charts time give your behavior management time just give it time but don't be afraid to pull it if it's not working for you and it's causing you more stress than it's worth you need to give things time to prove how they really work for example a seating chart you might be changing your seating chart like every week every two weeks because you're trying to find the balance between talking just to talk and talking because there's learning going on if you were like me, you kept changing your seating chart thinking you're gonna find a magic little spot for every little kiddo, and that's not going to happen because realistically, you just have a bunch of talkative little kiddos. Instead, take a step back. How about we need to work on routines and procedures instead of changing the seating chart every two weeks? That was the answer to my problem. And they learned, this is the way it is, you have to adapt to it. Sorry you don't sit by your friend, or you sit by your friend? Cool, you may not wanna mess that up. But also, if something is just straight up not working, take it out, don't look back. Because some things just aren't going to work. Bonus tip, ask for help. I had an amazing mentor and we worked together on everything. Teachers are a beautiful group of people. They always want to help and every teacher has been a first year teacher. So they totally remember what it was like and they'll be more than happy to help you with supplies to get things together for you answer your questions work with you through something ask for help and if for some crazy reason you just cannot just don't think you're in it alone you just got to put yourself out there take that step tell someone that you need help with something or with everything if you don't have anyone reach out to me comment i need help we'll talk about it we'll get through it okay all right, so those are my three big mistakes I made as a beginner teacher and my one extra bonus tip. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're a new teacher, please comment below and say, I'm new. If you've been teaching, comment below and let us know what your biggest mistake was as a beginning teacher. Okay, if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you next week.